Jerry, I just received a strange email from you. It says you only want us to run personal training during 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. A lot of our clients have their slots booked outside of that range. Please tell me there's been a mistake. Hi, Paul. No mistake. We've been under pressure from head office to cut down our expenses. One of our biggest and frankly unnecessary expenses is paying personal trainers. I'm not sure what you mean by that. How does that mean we should only run our sessions during a shorter time? We've cut some people from our staff team and reduced overall working hours. What? Why? The idea is that by making our personal training more exclusive, we can focus on quality and really drive in some high paying clients. Speaking of which, this is some new mandatory training that you'll have to complete. A 30 hour hands on course. Okay, let me get this straight. You fired a bunch of personal trainers, reduced our hours so the remaining ones now work less, and now I have to take a training course to improve the quality of my training. Jerry, I'm the top rated trainer at this gym. I haven't had a single unhappy client in years. I know, Paul, but costs have to be cut. Will I at least be getting a wage increase for this trouble? No, you won't. So you've cut our hours with no compensation to us. Wait until my team hears about this. And that's not even to mention that most of our clients have sessions booked outside of the 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. window. What about literally anyone that works a 9 to 5? They can't get training here, but they can at our competitors. They could, but not the same quality. Our new model is quality over quantity. Normally, I'd agree, but we've already been doing the best we can, so I don't think that applies here. Paul, just take the course and stop complaining. I emailed you the link to sign up. The company will reimburse you for the cost. Jerry, I'm the one who made this course. I designed the program, and my team already has completed this. It'll be good for a reminder. I'm not wasting my time doing this, especially since you cut my hours. I need all the work I can get. 30 hours is almost the same as my working week now. I can't afford to take that off. You'll have to, or we'll find someone who will. You know what? I wonder what your competitors will think of you when their top-rated gym trainer applies for a job at their gyms. Maybe I'm making efforts for the wrong company.